Sinead O'Connor will forever be known as the voice of a generation in modern Ireland, quickly becoming a talented and defiant figure who helped make the Emerald Isle become relevant on the world stage before her tragic death at 56. However, while the national treasure was thriving in her music career across the globe, Sinead sadly struggled to adjust to major life changes which fame and fortune brought into her life, and this ended up taking a toll on her romantic relationships. After the release of her haunting 1990 track Nothing Compares to You, Sinead was catapulted into global fame and notoriety, something which she would later admit spun her life upside down in the most beautiful way, and the fame thanks to her unmatched talent, came endless romantic attention too. At the time when Sinead achieved her first number one single in 1990, she was married to record producer John Reynolds. However, the couple who share son Jake together, separated the following a year in 1991. The pair tied the knot in 1987, when the singer was just 21, and the pair enjoyed four years of marriage before they called it quits, with Sinead going to marry three more times, but sadly she never found her everlasting romantic love, stating instead that her late son Shane, who took his own life 18 months ago at the age of 17, was the true love of her life. Back in a 2014 interview, Sinead admitted that she wished she had never married in the first place after four failed marriages as she joked that she looked stupid in a wedding dresses and called herself a CP wife. Although John wasn't meant to be Sinead's forever person, the exes remained an important part of one another's lives and cemented a deep friendship and co-parenting relationship with her son Jake, who is now 36. They even continued working together after their divorce, with John going on to produce five more of Sinead's albums and heading on her 2013 tour as her drummer. In 2021, Sinead referred to John as her best friend on earth after he recovered from a serious health scare due to COVID-19 during the pandemic. Ten years after her split from John, Sinead became engaged to journalist Nick Zomerlot in June 2001. The former couple first met when Nick was working for the Press Association in Dublin in February and after quickly falling in love, the pair were engaged to be married just four months later. And just weeks after their engagement, Sinead and Nick, who had a seven-year age gap, tied the knot in, in a secret ceremony. Their marriage lasted three years, and they divorced in 2004 after keeping their relationship largely under wraps and out of the public eye for the three-year duration. Before their marriage came to an end, Sinead said that she was so happy and in love with Nick that she felt as though she had died and gone to heaven as she gushed over their electric connection. I am much more confident these days, I'm back home and in touch with my family. I am not caught up with being a rock star, and I am in love. I feel as if I have died and gone to heaven. I intend to be a non-politically correct wife, baking and cooking all day and making myself sexually available," she shared. Six years after her second divorce, singing sensation Sinead found love again with musician Steve Cooney. The Mandinka hitmaker had known Steve for several years after he played guitar in her band on tour, but friendship soon turned to romantic love and the former lovebirds tied the knot in 2010. Sadly, their love wasn't meant to last, with the pair splitting up and ending their marriage just one year later due to work commitments and wanting different things from life. While Sinead had her head down working on another album, her new husband was studying for a PhD. When the news broke of their divorce, Sinead took the blame for her marriage ending, claiming that it was her fault her love with Steve didn't last the test of time. Steve is lovely so it's not his fault but mine. 
It was an extremely happy marriage. I'm heartbroken about it breaking up, she shared at the time. Although she was heartbroken after her marriage with Steve ended, Sinead found love again quite quickly with psychotherapist Barry Harridge, with the pair tying the knot in 2011. Sinead and her fourth husband Barry tied the knot at the Little White Wedding Chapel in Las Vegas after just three months of dating. The singer revealed that she met Barry after he replied to her online blog after she wrote that she was sex-starved before asking potential suitors to apply to court her, but she never had any intentions of getting married again. In the end, it was Barry who stole her heart after he sent Sinead a heartwarming email which she couldn't refuse. Barry sent me this wonderful email, which just took my heart away, she told the Irish Independent afterwards. It had to be him. I had no intention of getting married again but Barry was extremely persuasive. He proposed to me on every single day we have had since August. He is extremely persuasive, and other unprintable things. Although the pair looked loved up and made for one another in their wedding photos, where Sinead stummed in a pretty pink dress, just 16 days after their wedding, the singer announced that the couple were separating. At the time, Sinead told her fans that the pair parted amicably, admitting that she still loved Barry very much, from the moment myself and my husband got together not long ago. There was intense pressure placed upon him by certain people in his life, not to be involved with me. These were people who had never met me but had formed opinions of me based on what they read about Sinead O'Connor in the media etc. Entitled as they are to their opinions about me many perhaps well deserved, there was no righteousness on anyone's part to put my husband through what he was put through as a result of his desire to be with me and to marry me and as a result of his actually marrying me, she added. Following her fourth divorce from Barry, the Irish music legend confessed that she regrets ever getting married, admitting that she was attempting to feel normal and a part of society in doing so. Sinead told the Irish son, I think I was trying to be normal. Kind of like a gay person trying to insist on being straight. Of course Terry's nothing at all normal about marrying people you hardly effing know. Luckily they were nice guys. Thank F. On Wednesday. The news of Sinead's tragic death sent shockwaves as her devastated family announced that the singer had died at the age of 56, just 18 months after her son Shane took his own life at the age of 17. After Shane's tragic death, his heartbroken mother Sinead vowed never to sing again as she told her fans that there is nothing to sing about after Shane, who she described as the true love of her life had left his earthy struggle. In her final social media post, Sinead tweeted a picture of her late son and wrote, Been living as undead night creature since. He was the love of my life, the lap of my soul. In an emotional tweet last year, Sinead confirmed her son's sad passing. My beautiful son, Nevim Nesta Ali Shane O'Connor, the very light of my life, decided to end his earthly struggle today and is now with God. May he rest in peace and may no one follow his example. My baby. I love you so much. Please be at peace, she wrote. The Nothing Compares to You singer has four children. She is also mum to son Jake Reynolds with her first husband John Reynolds, daughter Roisin Waters who she shares with Irish journalist John Waters and Yeshua Francis Neil Bonadio who she welcomed during her relationship with Frank Bonadio in 2006. If you're struggling and need to talk, the Samaritans operate a free helpline open 24-7 on 116-123.
Alternatively, you can email joe at samaritans.org or visit their site to find your local branch. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads. Melting